Um, my name's Bev, I'm from Rescue Recycle Reuse and I'm an elite retailer in Queensland. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make a sort of really chunky sort of look with the um, sort of paints and mix up some colours. So we've got all these beautiful colours and a lot of them are already in the Dixie Bell range, but these are sort of slightly muted. So some of them I'm going to be mixing together just to soften them slightly. So either with a bit of white or maybe mixing a bit of orange together, uh, just playing around with them and applying them in a different sort of way. Yeah, so this has got all the actual colors of the Dixie Bell paint. So it's not printed, they're not printed, they're actual color cards. So you'll get the true reflection of all the colors in there. Um, so I'll start on the side. And what I'm going to be doing is trying to is picking up bits and pieces of these beautiful colors. So you can see there's some oranges down here. There's these muted sort of blues and greens and pinks. So I have got some of them that match perfectly as it is. So we've got Plum Crazy, which is really nice and matches in there. So I'm going to do a little bit of Plum Crazy. Um, I have got some flamingo, which sort of, where does see flamingo matching in? Sort of flam flamingo matched in a little bit up here, but it needs to be a little bit more orangey, so I might put that one aside. But we'll start with the plum crazy. Now, the paints are going to, um, the white is going to show through, so I'm not trying to get rid of the white. You're going to have bits of white showing through in different colours. And what's great about these little ones is they fit right into the um, container. So I'm just going to take some of that out and yeah, you can see. Tap it down and I'm going to start by just doing some of these. sort of scrapes along. And I don't want that line sort of here. I sort of want it, I don't want a stiff, you know, straight line, so I'm gonna come back that way. And we're just gonna be putting these colors on in bits and pieces. Now, these are really quite good to do it on the stools because they're a little bit textured. Um, it has been painted and it has been sanded just slightly to, take off some of the um, the roughness of it but it is a little bit edgy let's grab something else let's mix something I think let's have a bit of fun mixing so I was looking at these really pretty sort of colors like this. Now that one's okay, but the peacock, I, f I felt that was too bright. So I want to dull that down a bit and I might add something, say like, um, there you go, what do we got? Mermaid tail. So the mermaid tails, that sort of color, but again, it's too bright. So I'm just gonna mix a couple of those up and play around and see with what colors we come with. Now, if you're not confident mixing colors, um, grab yourself a color wheel. So it's very, it's much closer, but I think it's a bit bright. So I'm going to take some of it and add a little bit of, what have I got, fluff. So I'm just going to put a little bit of fluff there. I'm not going to take all of it and put the fluff on. I'm just going to do some of it and just a little bit of fluff. Now, if I was doing a big surface, 
I could be using smaller ones and bigger ones to create some interest. You can sort of do it in different directions a little bit if you want. Um, I've got some smaller little palette knives here as well. So we'll play around with those a little bit later just to get a little bit of a different um, different texture sort of coming through. But to start with, we'll just get some of these basic layers down. So you can see that the white's not totally mixed in on there, so that's gonna come up quite nicely. And I'm gonna go over some of these. That's sort of blending in a little bit. I wanna bring in close so you can see that. If your paint is too wet, that's not too bad, but um, if you want, you can just hit it with the hairdryer in between so it doesn't, um, so it doesn't, you know, make it too muddy if you find that you're muddying it up too much. I've got some aubergine. So I'm going to bring a bit of a darker color in here. So I've got this aubergine color which matches up here. So I'm going to put a bit of that in. And I'm really bad. I just stick my, I mix all my colors up often so don't do what I do. Just grab some of your aubergine out. What I am going to do is I'm going to hit the front of it here with the hair dryer just quickly. Okay, I'm going to go and look into, what have we got here? Maybe a bit of red and orange. And then there's a bit more blue here that I like too. There's a bit of blue in these ones. But I might do a bit of red and orange because I don't want that to be on top so much. I've got paint everywhere. I sort of want that to be underneath, so. Um, there's a couple of different tones of sort of orange. I've got a yellow here, and that's a good way to use it. Use it on your canvases, absolutely. I've got a yellow here, which is sort of very similar to the kernel mustard, but again, it's just a, not quite as bright. So I'm gonna mix that, and I'm gonna mix some yellow with, I think, some, maybe some of the flamingo. Let's see what we get. I love mixing colours and seeing what you get. Like I said, you, you, wouldn't, you don't have to mix them up. You've got a lot of colours that are really close to what's on there. I mean, they've been matched pretty much to the Dixie Belle colours. I just want to make them a little bit softer. I'm going to put a, uh, yeah, a bit of mustard. See, these are really good. These are good, these lumpy old dried up thicker bits on top. Bit of mustard. And I'm gonna use a little bit of red. Where's the red? I had some honky tonk, here it is, some honky tonk red. Just want a little bit of red because I don't want it too red. And put 
some red there and add some of my mustard to it. Right now, if I want to as well, like I was saying, you can use your palette knives and you can jump on with them. And you can be more specific in an area. So if I wanted to have more control, I can use my palette knife. I won't use the yellow, hang on. I will, okay, I will, because I can go over it. I can get right up into that corner. So I'm going to put some of this sort of, I don't know if you can see it, this blue here and a bit of black into it as well. So I've got a couple of blues. I've got the Bunker Hill blue, which is very, very similar to it. So we're going to do a little bit of that. And then maybe just a touch of the cobalt blue as well. So we've got another blue, which you can't really see on those, but on here you can. You've got this really bright blue. So I'm going to do some with the Bunker Hill and then I'm going to mix some cobalt into it as well. the white contrast I think if you have the whole thing like this on this particular piece it'll just sort of be too much is when I'm finished now I'm going to post it on my Facebook page so you can jump over there and see the finished uh, article. Um, I will post a, a photo of it in the comments somewhere here as well. But so my name's Beth from Rescue Recycle Reuse. You can get all these products. I will drop them into my links above at the end of the video. But um, I'll see you next week. Have a great week. And I would love to see some photos of what you guys are doing with this sort of stuff. But check back and see when it's finished a bit later. Thanks Adrian. Bye. Have a great night.